हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैसेल पराग जांबुलकर इन पैरेलल कंप्यूटिंग और हाई परफॉर्मेंस कंप्यूटिंग डिकम्पोजिशन टेक्निक्स आर वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट हियर डिकम्पोजिशन वर्ड हैज अ लार्ज मीनिंग डिकम्पोजिशन इन द सेंस व्हेन यू हैव अ बिग टास्क वे डिवाइडिंग दैट टास्क इन टू द स्मॉल स्मॉल टास्क और सब टास्क दैट थिंग इज कॉल्ड एज अ डिकम्पोजिशन नाउ देर आर वेरियस टेक्निक्स फॉर डिकम्पोजिशन आउट ऑफ दैट दिस फोर टेक्निक्स आर इम्पोर्टेंट फर्ल्ड एज रिकर्सिव डिकम्पोजिशन डेटा डिकम्पोजिशन एक्सप्लोरेटरी डिकम्पोजिशन स्पेकुलेटिव डिकम्पोजिशन फर्स्ट टू टेक्निक्स आर वेरी मच कॉमन वाइल थर्ड एंड फोर्थ दिस इज एक्सप्लोरेटरी एंड स्पेकुलेटिव डिकम्पोजिशन आर स्पेसिफिक टू द प्रॉब्लम आउट ऑफ दिस फोर टेक्निक्स फर्स्ट टेक्निक इज द रिकर्सिव डिकम्पोजिशन ऑलरेडी we have heard the word recursion in many programming languages we use this word recursion recursion means what calling the same function again and again that is called as recursion here we are using this word for decomposition it is used for those problems which can be solved by divide and conquer method when we have a big problem we divide that problem into the sub problem and these sub problems are independent these problems are not dependent on each other and again we recursively divide this problem into the sub problems again these are not related with each other are dependent on each other until we get the atomic sub problems which cannot be divided again and then we combine the results and we get the final outcome that is called as a recursive decomposition best example is quicksort in quicksort we have a set of elements out of that one element we choose as a pure element so we can choose first element as a pure element we can choose last element as a pure element we can choose random number as a pure element any number you can choose as a pure element so in this example we have taken last element as a pure element when we take this pure element we divide this problem into the two parts so in this case we have taken 9 as a pure element so all the elements those are smaller than 9 and all the elements which are larger than 9 along with 9 it becomes another part then in this example we have taken 7 as a pure element so all the elements those are smaller than 7 on this side and 7 along with the elements which are larger than 7 on this side here 6 is taken as a pure element so we got 5 and 6 here 8 we have taken as a pure element 7 and 8 here we have taken 10 as a pure element so 9 is lesser than 10 while all 11 12 are larger than 10 so this on another side here we have taken 11 as a pure element so 10 we got on this side we have 11 and 12 and at the end 11 and 12 so in this way we use quicksort to divide this numbers into the different sets and finally we combine these results so after at the end all the elements get sorted now this diagram is called as a task dependency graph task in the sense each sub problem is called as a task dependency graph in the sense dependency graph is a directed acyclic graph acyclic graph means there is no cycle and there is a direction direction is for combining the result so recursive decomposition in the sense recursively we decompose the problem into the sub problem those are independent and we recursively keep on decomposing and then we combine their results that is called as a recursive decomposition now we see data decomposition from the name you will come to know we are decomposing a data now see best example is this matrices multiplication so we are multiplying these two matrices so this is a first matrix multiplying with the second matrix and we got this result so this cells are c1 c2 c3 c4 now see, c1 means what this c2 means what this c3 and c4 like this now see c1 c2 c3 c4 this forms the data of this resultant matrix now what we are doing we are giving c1 to compute c1 we are allocating it to one processor 
to compute C2, we are allocating to one processor. To compute C3, we are allocating it to the third processor. And same thing, C4, we are allocating to fourth processor. So here you will observe operations are same. Here we are multiplying. Here also we are multiplying. Then we are adding it. Same operations are here for all these. Where is the chain? Only data. So here we have divided the final output based on the data. That's why it is called as a data decomposition. Next technique for decomposition is exploratory decomposition. Best example for this is puzzle problem. Where initial state is given and we have to find out goal state. Here we divide a search space and each time we check whether we got goal state or not. So for example here we can move upwards and R we can move leftwards. And again at the same time we are checking whether we got the goal state or not. So here we are decomposing at the same time we are solving the problem. That is called as exploratory decomposition. Next decomposition technique is speculative decomposition. Here we choose the branch of computation based on previous output. Just like switch case. In switch case we have an expression and based on the output of that expression we choose particular case. In same way we have the previous output and based on the previous output we choose which computation should be done. Again same thing based on previous output we choose which computation should be done. That is called as speculative decomposition. There is one more decomposition technique that is called as a hybrid decomposition technique. If we combine multiple decomposition technique together then that is called as hybrid decomposition. So in this way we have multiple decomposition techniques. So friends I hope you like this video. If it is then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notifications of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.